to another episode of News to Us, a look back at the news last week filtered by the personalities of your favorite radio stations at Town Square Media. I'm James G, and I'll have a story on the Phantasmagorium. I'm Angel D, and I could use some extra money. And I'm Lori Crawford, coming up in your entertainment news, a new baby. And now, here's me with the top story, because we can't get enough James G. <laughs> Thanks, James. You look good in red. The phantasmagorium known as Downtown Redevelopment appears to be a figment of Walter Mitty's imagination with news last week that New Crest Image, the company planning to build the gargantuan and palatial downtown hotel, also known as the Taj Mahal of the Golden Spread, has not completed proof of financing for the project. The city and the company agreed to a 90-day extension of contract deadlines, thus pushing any tangible sign of progress back further. We've been talking about downtown redevelopment for 10 years and planning for this hotel for at least five. If the company entrusted to build this Leviathan hasn't got the credit, you shouldn't expect them to ever finish. That is, if they ever start, which looks a little sketchy at this point. And now here's someone with weather. Thanks, Oscar. Excel Energy announced last week that they are giving more than $400,000 in grants to 74 nonprofit organizations in the Panhandle and Eastern New Mexico. Here's a thought. As I am a nonprofit and have a swollen electric bill, how about Excel? You keep your money and lower the electric rate. The Saudis are flooding the market with oil. Energy prices are lower than they've been in years. Yet my electric bill is in the stratosphere. And Excel's giving away money? Next, you'll tell me that downtown redevelopment is delayed because the hotel can't get a loan or Amarillo is getting a female tackle football team. Who knows? Why, thank you to whoever I just came out of. We don't even know anymore. That's how scattered we are. So, Sophie B. Hawkins, the singer famous for the 1994 hit As I Lay Me Down, well, she just gave birth to a baby girl. Now, that may not sound like the biggest news ever, but Sophie B. Hawkins is 50 years old. She named her little girl Esther Ballantyne Hawkins. Now, she also has a six-year-old boy named Dashiell. Well, there we go. I guess I have hope. Yay! I always wanted more kids, but by the time I find someone, fall in love, get married, I'm pretty sure all hope I had of having another kid, well, it's pretty much dried up and crusty down there. I mean, come on. I'm close to 40. I'm not that old yet, but you know what? It takes time to find love. But I guess now I could have a baby at 50. Thank you, Sophie B. Hawkins, for that encouragement. Now back to us. Oh, Laura, you're not that crusty. You can always adopt. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this episode of News to Us. Log on next week for another exciting episode. And remember, stick around for bloopers. And if it's news to you, it's, it's news, news to us. us. Just say, although right. Tommy would rather do a girl with syphilis than sleep with snakes. Nice. New track. Girl power! There you go. Lori's touching me. Ah! I think you will As I am a nonprofit and my sw- It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Energy prices are low. <laughs> I think that might make a I just think difference. I can't f***ing read today. I don't know. <laughs> and that 